Hey there girls and welcome to your phonics lesson of the day. I'm super excited because we just started our new unit on diagraphs. Remember, a diagraph is when you take two letters and you put them together to make a brand new sound. So yesterday we started learning all about the diagraph CH. Do you remember what CH makes when you put the letters together? That's right, it makes the sound ch, ch, like a train going choo choo or a chocolate bar. Repeat after me, C H ch, ch. Again, C H ch, ch. Great job, girls. Today, we are going to be listening to different words and writing them down. So let me share my screen and we are gonna look at the lesson together. Okay, so your lesson today looks like this. We are Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. And today we are doing a written sort activity. So the words right here for your parents to read out to you are the ones that you are going to be writing down into the right category. You are so ready for this, girls. So for example, Let's just say a parent or an adult read out the word cut, k, k, cut. Hmm, where does that word belong? I know, I'm gonna stretch it out using my new bubblegum technique. So remember, you have a piece of bubblegum in your hands. When your fingers are still touching, that's the beginning sound. Then as the bubble gum is being stretched out, you get all your middle sounds. And then finally, when you chop, that's the end sound. Okay? So let's do the word cut together very slowly. Cut. Cut. What's the first sound you hear in cut? That's right, the letter C. So I would write a letter C here. I know that's my first letter. And it belongs in the C category with cat. What's my next letter in the word cut? Uh, 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 uh. Used for umbrella, uh, uh, umbrella. The letter U. And what about the last sound? Cut. Do you hear that chop sound on the T? So we need to put the letter T. And this is the word cut. Let's do another one. Your next word is the word chip. Ch, ch, chip. Bubblegum stretch it. Chip. Chip. Let's find our beginning sound. When I'm touching my fingers, I don't hear one letter. Ch, ch, ch. I hear the sound ch, and I know ch is my ch, ch, ch diagraph. So I will write it under the ch category. My first sound is ch, ch. Let's continue looking for the middle sound. Ch, e, 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 I is for igloo. E, e. I. And now I just need to find my end sound. Sh p p p. And that's the word sh ip chip. Remember, parents and JK students, if you don't spell the words correctly, that's okay. The main point of these exercises is to make sure you're hearing that beginning sound. But you do want to challenge yourself and try to hear the middle sound and the end sound too. Just try your very best. Once you're finished with the written sort activity, you can move on to your last activity for phonics. Circle the correct word to match the picture. And as always, pay close attention to that beginning sound. The pictures for today are cheese, cow, 
chick, coins, cherries, heart, cart, hug, and horse. Let's look at the first one together. Here, I see a piece of cheese, ch, ch, cheese. Let's look for our beginning sound, ch, cheese, ch, ch, ch. My beginning sound is when my fingers are touching, ch, ch, ch. I hear my digraph, ch, ch, ch. So I know that my word has to start with ch. I see this word starts with ch. This word says cheese. Cheese. This one has to be my answer. The other one starts with a C. C says k, keys. This is cheese, not keys. All right, girls. That's all from Masai. Time for you to finish up your phonics, and I'll see you for your next period.